Bardin. Nash is a chief engineer and kite designer, and we are here to introduce the new Triad Freeride Kite. It's a brand new kite for us, and I want to give a little background to exactly uh, what we're trying to accomplish with this kite. Uh, you can see that our marketing theme has been the right kite for 99% of the population. Where that came from uh, was when we started making kites 20 years ago. We launched our first line in 1999 for the 2000 season, and our slogan was introducing the wrong sport for 99% of the world's population. And that really was the case, it's what we believed. Kiting was extreme, two-line kites were crazy powerful, and they basically had no deep power. You went until that thing stopped. Even with the launch of the AR-5, our first four-line kite, uh, it was not a sport that you would just let anybody go and try. It was extreme, it was dangerous even for us, and we really pigeonholed it to be something that if you don't really know what you're doing and you're not really willing to take some risk, don't try this. The sport has come an amazingly long way, uh, both in terms of technology and riding, and it's become much, much, much more accessible and much, much safer. Anybody can learn to kite surf now, which is awesome. The Triad embraces everything that we've learned over these 20 years and packaged it into a free ride kite that is super, super accessible, very intuitive, has a massive range of power and deep power, especially deep power. So from here to here, you get almost nothing. Where there are a lot of kites out there that even pushed all the way apart, away from you, the bar is making a lot of power. So it's intuitive, steers really well, and it makes it accessible for someone that's new to the sport, coming right out of a kite school, to be able to have a kite that they can learn on, excel on, and advance as quickly as possible without growing the kite. See, that's the main thing, is nobody wants to buy a school kite, nobody wants a beginner kite, because kite surfing is a sport that you advance every single time you go out, you learn something new and you get better. So we wanted to make a kite that was sheet in and go, great range, great pop, uh, really intuitive steering, but that you could ride all the way up until your advanced years and never outgrow the kite. And Damien can tell us a little bit about the technology behind it. People are questioning how does it fit into the range next to the Pivot, which is our other all-around free ride kite. Pivot being a kite that is something you can win the king of the air with, like Kevin Langre has twice now. Uh, amazing performance all around. You can wave ride with it, you can do freestyle with it, you can jump high with it. Same thing with the triad. It's a kite that you can do everything with, but the dynamic is different due to the shaping, the depth of the shaping, the luff strut that Damien will talk about. Just gives you a different range of performance with a huge crossover to the pivot in the middle. It's like the pivot is here and the triad is here with a big crossover of performance in the middle but the triad being much, much better and more accessible for the guy that is more novice and the pivot being better for the guy that rides a smaller kite, powered up, and is a bit more advanced. So yeah, I think technically one of, one of the main differences that you find between the pivot and the, the triad is uh, the aspect ratio of the triad is slightly lower. So it makes a kite that's more forgiving. Um, the, the depth of the draft is a little deeper, so it's a kite that's going to have a little more instant power. And then one of the key things on, on that kite when we worked on it was like adjusting the bridles and the way the kite stays in the air to give a lot of deep power. So you, it's a kite that you we can really kill all the way. The reason for that is the center of, of effort and the toe point of the kite is a little further than it is on other kites, so you get more of a, a kill effect when you push the bar and that to me is great because it makes the kite more forgiving easier and easier to jump also because you can just pull the bar and, and get going jumping and then one other great thing on the on the on the triad is the center strut we have is a love strut this is something that kind of came from working on no strut kites a few years back and we really like the no strut for a lot of reason uh, the way it de delivers a lot of instant power when you're shooting but there's a lot of drawback having no strut on the kite so we start working on like the loft strut, which is kind of like a strut that is only supporting um, in the lens of the kite, but doesn't support the profile uh, in terms of like letting it compress and expand in some, in, in some aspects too. So it gives a kite that has more instant power. So for someone that's a little less advanced, it, it helps when you're just not steering your kite really well and just want to get power suddenly. It just gives more of that power that you need to get going right away. So that's something that really combines with the aspect ratio of the kite, uh, gives us an extremely forgiving kite, uh, really easy. But at the same time, uh, like Robbie was saying, uh, you can jump really high on that kite, 
uh, not quite as high as a pivot because the pivot has a higher aspect ratio. It's got a, it's got a profile that's slightly uh, thinner, so it's going to just take you higher, keep you higher uh, longer, but at the same time, it's going to be a little less forgiving, a little less easy to write. So the, the triad has the advantage of being an even easier kite than the pivot to get going. And the pivot requires more speed and power to get that performance, where the triad is going to give you that performance with the right size kite. So you can rig the kite that's perfect for the wind that you've got, and that breathability of the luff strut gives right. it that oomph and that pop. Do you want to jump? You just sheet in and you jump. It doesn't require perfect timing the way a faster, lower profile or a lower um, depth kite. Uh, requires where you can misfire your jump sometimes if your timing isn't great or if you don't have a lot of power. And then the three stretch stretch ties it together together and gives it the stability required to really work well all around at the same time. So you can ride an eight when a guy that's on pivot wanting to jump the same might have to ride a nine or a ten. So uh, it's just a really broad, very very easy to use uh, kite in the range of power that most people are going to want to. Use. You don't want to have to use a giant kite and be lit all the time to get good performance. So it allows you to use a small kite and have really good feeling, good power, good pop. And uh, you know, similar to what we have with the Boxer and its left strut. An amazing kite underpowered. Right. This isn't quite as good underpowered as the Boxer where there's just nothing weighing down the canopy, where the Boxer is the lightest kite you can basically buy. This adds the stability of three struts, but the benefit of that breathability and that great range of, of the boxer. I think you uh, got it pretty good there. But anyway, you got to try it. We've now got two kites between the pivot and the triad, perfect for covering all of basically what you do want to do in the sport of kiteboarding, short of pure wave or pure extreme freestyle. You know, extreme freestyle. We've got the torch and the dash over on this end. We've got the slash on the wave side. Uh, and in the middle there, we've now got the, the pivot and the triad that you can basically do whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want, and be comfortable and have fun. And that's the main thing, is getting out on the water. If you can't kite every day, you want a kite that's going to make every session as good as it can be and uh, help you learn as fast as possible, give you as much enjoyment as possible. And uh, this is that kite.